it has been widely reported that the CDC has modified its information on how the COVID-19 virus is spread, with many saying that touching infected surfaces might be less of a concern. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to clarify exactly what the CDC has posted on its website and what it means for you, Doc. Yeah, Kim, the SARS-CoV-2 virus and COVID-19 infection are primarily a respiratory problem. But when someone coughs or sneezes, infected droplets are expelled and they land on nearby surfaces. If you touch those surfaces, the virus can be picked up on your hands and infect you when you touch your face. That basic principle has not changed. What the CDC has done is change the emphasis for the most common source of spread. This is the exact wording from the current CDC information page. The virus is thought to spread mainly from person to person between people who are in close contact with one another within about six feet through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. These droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. COVID-19 may be spread by people who are not showing symptoms. Now, this person-to-person -person spread has always been considered the main way the virus spreads. Regarding the spread through contact with contaminated surfaces, this is the current CDC information. It may be possible that a person can get COVID-19 by touching a surface or object that has the virus on it and then touching their own mouth, nose, or possibly their eyes. This is not thought to be the main way the virus spreads, but we are still learning more about this virus. They go on to say ways to slow the spread include maintaining good social distance, wash your hands often with soap and water, and if soap and water are not available, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol and routinely clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. Now, the bottom line is that this does not suggest that surface contamination is unimportant, but it does say Person-to-person -person transmission through droplets or aerosols from talking, I would add, are the most important thing to keep aware of to reduce the spread. And I would add the CDC website still says you should wash your hands after handling your mail or packages. Back to you.